Hey, what's up? This is Scott with the Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to give you the first official Magento lesson, and this is how to install Magento. If you caught the 0.5 lesson, that was how to install the sample data and how to get that ready. If you want to install the sample data, please watch the 0.5 video, the one that comes directly before this. If you do not need the sample data, then uh, starting here is no problem. So just to give you a little recap, uh, Magento is a large e-commerce platform. Uh, the Community Edition is free to use. It has a lot of great features. Um, there's all sorts of modules that you can um, connect to the application to do all sorts of great features. And the whole the whole thing is just really, uh, really exciting to use. So um, to get started, I've already created a database. I'm using Map Pro. Um, if you need any help with MAMP Pro, you know, let us know. We might be able to do a tutorial lesson on MAMP or MAMP Pro. But as you can see, I have a database. It's called uh, level underscore madge. Um, the tables that are in it currently are the ones from the sample data that we installed in the previous lesson. If you do not install the sample data, just create your database and it will be empty upon installing Magento. That's no big deal. So you can go to magentocommerce.com. Uh, slash download slash get started and get the latest version of community as the time of making these tutorials it, We are on version 1.7 which was added April 24th 2012 So it's a new version of Magento here. We're all pretty good to go. It's already downloaded here in my downloads um, I have MAMP actually looking for a folder called Magento into my documents so I'm just going to go ahead and throw this Magento folder, which is the one I downloaded, you can see all your files are here, into my documents, and it's going to overwrite the folder I already have in there, which has nothing in it. So uh, this is where it's going to be looking. Of course, uh, if you don't plan on installing the sample data, just sort of ignore this next part, but uh, installing the sample data at this point, uh, we thought we were pretty much done, we put the stuff in our database, but Inside of the uh, files they also gave us, you'll see this media catalog folder. You'll see that there's also, inside of our Magento folder, a media folder. You don't want to overwrite this media folder. However, you do want to add this catalog folder to your media if you're installing the sample data. Okay, so next thing is we have to make sure our permissions are correct before installing. If you were to go to your site right now, Let's uh, browse to where uh, MAMP is looking for our site. It's going to take you to the install wizard. And if you, you know, select, go to continue, whatever, and you type in everything, it's going to tell you that some of your files are not, uh, they don't have the correct permissions. So this is what it looks like when you're going to install, but we need to verify that our permissions are correct first. So to do that, I'm going to use something like transmit. If you're familiar with, um, any sort of you know terminal commands uh, sage mod or anything you can do it that way just any way that you know how to change permissions uh, this is just a good sort of visual way to show it so we're going to need to ensure that uh, certain directories have 777 permissions uh, those being var so you can see right now it's 755 we'll apply this and my password okay so now it's 777 and also media needs to be 777 as well. Okay, and then we also need the, um, the ETC folder that's within the app folder to be set to 777. You can do that, okay. Okay, so, uh, there might be some more permissions things coming up. Uh, I sort of like to feel it out, but it, depending on how your server is configured, that's pretty much usually it. So let's see. Um, where am I? I'm in uh, Eastern Standard Time. Okay, we're using the US dollar. This is where you want to set up your, uh, you know, your currency for where your location for the, your, you know, your main location for your site is. Um, okay, we'll click continue. Okay, so this is your configuration screen. Our host is just localhost. Our database name is whatever you named your database. You could have named it anything. By default, they just fill in Magento for you. Ours was level underscore madge or whatever you had it. 
Um, then this is your username and password. If you're using MAMP or MAMP Pro, it's just going to be root and root. Um, I actually have a custom password for mine. I don't, you know, you don't have to do that, but uh, so you can have this be whatever your password is. By default, root and root. Base URL is just your normal URL. You shouldn't have to change that. The admin path is where you're going to be going to go to your admin section. Typically, I just leave it as admin. I'm used to it. It's nice and easy. Although, you know, they suggest maybe backend or control or whatever. Um, I, I just leave it as admin. We're going to leave this enabled charts click because I like the charts. They're nice. No reason to uncheck this. Um, the other ones we'll just leave unchecked. We're not using an SSL because we're on a local host here. So file systems, fine. Okay, click continue. Okay, so uh, here's your account. Uh, admin account information. I'm going to just put my full name in here because that's what I do. It's a uh, TOLNS. Okay, and my email, username. I'm just going to leave this as admin because uh, I like saying as admin. It's always easy to remember. And password, it can be whatever you'd like. Okay. And then an encryption key. If this field is left empty, it's going to create one for you. So I'm going to leave it empty. Click continue. Uh, Okay, so it looks like my password did not fit their requirements. It needs to contain uh, new numbers and um, okay, so let's just click that, whatever. Okay, so now it's giving me a uh, looks like this is a, a encryption key, right? So I'm just it says store this in some place safe. I'll just copy this. I'm gonna paste this somewhere uh, safe or even better yet. I'm just gonna take a screenshot of this page just so. Uh, I can have that later, um, just in case you need this number for anything. Okay, so you now have Magento installed. If we go to our front end here, our site will be loading up all nice and fine. As you can see, all of those uh, default products that we wanted to be in there, the all of that sample data has been installed. It looks like we have a, a full working store already. So this is what's so great about Magento. In almost no time, we installed the sample data and we have you know, a great, well, uh, we have a, a nice looking store that we can then skin and theme and move around. We can do anything we want with it, but it's a great starting point. Um, this is much further along than many other content management systems or even e-commerce platforms will get you right in the beginning. Okay, so hopefully you now have Magento installed. If you have any troubles, let me know. Hit me up in the comments. I'll do my best to try to help you out. I, obviously, I won't be able to solve all the problems because I don't know your specific setups. But, um, you know, just let me know what you're, what you're thinking or if you have any questions and I'll, I'll do my best. So once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts and thanks for watching. In the next couple of tutorials, we'll be giving you just a brief overview of Magento as a whole. Thanks for watching. Bye.